Hi, welcome to channel 16. Today we're going to discuss in this short video what is the major non-conformity, non-conformity and an observation and I'm your trainer for this session. So let's understand what exactly the major NC, NC and observation. Just for some of you who are familiar with the ISO standards, the ISO standards uh, uh, they came before the ISM code. So the ISO standards uh, had a major NC and a minor NC and an observation. When the ISM adopted uh, the, the ISO standards, so they removed the term minor. So they have just major NC, NC and observation. However, non-conformity in ISM is equal to a minor NC in a ISO standards. So let's look at what is the major non-conformity. A uh, major non-conformity uh, is like saying the vessel is unseaworthy, cannot proceed to sea. So, you know, you, you, we have a ship that where the water debt integrity has been breached or has exceeded the summer load line. So it's a clear cut major non-conformity. The vessel cannot proceed to sea. It will be detained as in the port state control. When they call it as a detainable deficiency, it's equal to a major non-conformity or non-fulfillment of classification requirements such as class surveys not carried out as per class requirements or condition of class not closed within the defined limits. That's a major non-conformity vessel can't proceed to sea until action is taken to mitigate the situation or you need to downgrade the major NC into a non-conformity by taking appropriate action. Now what's a non-conformity? It's an, it's an isolated non-compliance in the office or on the ship which relates to a particular requirement of the company. For example, the watertight, the hatch covers are watertight but the condition, some of, of the packing is not so good. So that can be considered as a non-conformity or non-fulfillment of requirements such as company's response to a safety meeting has not been received on board or let's say in an isolated case where Safety familiarization for a subcontractor working in the engine room has not been carried out. So that's called as a, an, a non-conformity, mm -hmm. right? Now, you can also have a non-conformity such as safety meetings, records not updated, oil record book not updated for last couple of operations, LS safety records not updated for last few months, cargo records not updated for last few cargo operations, similar record keeping NCs in other areas. Now, if you look at these, these are typically in their own way, they're isolated non-conformities in their own area. So they, they are actually non-conformities in their own areas. But however, since all these non-conformities are in a particular area in a particular requirement. What's the requirement? Record keeping. Thus, while they are a non-conformity, but since they belong to a particular area that is record keeping and documentation, the auditor can attribute all this together and give a major non-conformity in record keeping and documentation. Now, observation is something that has the potential to cause harm, but it's by itself is not a harm. For example, hatch covers or tank opening maintenance is being carried out, everything is fine. Uh, but when it, the auditor looks at the ship's PMS system, uh, he doesn't find any procedures or requirements for the maintenance of hatch covers. So what the auditor says, it looks fine right now, but the, the absence of not addressing it in the ship's PMS system, it is possible that in future the ship staff may miss out the maintenance. And thus he classified classifies the uh, it as an observation that has the potential to cause harm or potential to cause a non-conformity in future. Or let's say, uh, you know, the class surveys are being carried out as per requirements. However, there is no system in the company or on the ship to track the renewal dates for class surveys. So at the moment, everything is fine. But because they do not have a system in the company or the ship to track renewal dates for class surveys, there is a possibility that in future, this could lead to a non-compliance. So that's an observation. Thank you. Hope you the presentation was useful in uh, clearing the doubts on major NC, NC and observation. Thank you for giving us your time.